Assalamualaikum guys, welcome back to our channel. Pakistan is home to many places like deserts, mountains, beaches, plains, glaciers, but it's also home to some historical places like Mohonjo Doro. Mohonjo Doro was built around 2500 BCE. It was one of the largest settlements of the ancient Indus Valley civilization and one of the world's earliest major cities. And Mohonjo Doro was abandoned in the 19th century BCE. Mohonjo Doro is located off the right west bank of the lower Indus River in the Larkana district. Mohonjo Doro was built in the 26th century BCE. It was one of the largest cities of the ancient Indus Valley civilization, also known as the Harappan civilization which developed around 3000 BCE. Mohanjo Doro was the most advanced city of his time with remarkable civil engineering and urban planning. When the Indus civilization went into sudden decline around 1900 BCE, Mohanjo Doro was abandoned. The ruins of the city remained undocumented for around 3,700 years. This sculpture is known as the Priest King. In 1927, a seated male figure was found in the building that used the ornamental brickwork and wall sculptures and was 17.5 cm tall. In the 1930s, major excavations were conducted at the site under the leadership of Marshall D. K. Dexter and Ernest McKay. The last major series of excavations were conducted in the 1964 and the 1965 by George F. Dales. After 1965, excavations were banned due to weathering damage to the exposed structure and the only projects allowed at the site have been salvage excavations. Mohonjo Doro has a planned layout with rectilinear buildings arranged on a grid plane. In 1950, Sir Mortimer Wheeler identified one of the large buildings in Mohonjo Doro as the Great Graveny. However, Jonathan Mark Kenobi noted that complete lack of evidence for grain at the gravy, which he argued might therefore be better termed as the great hall of uncertain function. The city also had large platforms perhaps intended as defense against flooding. According to a theory first advanced by Wheeler, the city could have been flooded and split it over perhaps six times and later rebuilt in the same location. Mohanjo Doro had no series of city walls, but it was fortified with guard towers to the west of the main settlement and defensive fortifications to the south. Considering these fortifications and the structure of the major Indus Valley cities like Harappa, it is postulated that Mohanjo Doro was an administrative center. These are what they use for the dustbins. The Mohonjo Doro site was further threatened in January 2014. Pakistan People's Party chose the site for the Sins Festival's ignoration ceremony. This would have exposed the site to mechanical operations, including excavation and drilling. Fizad Mashel, head of the Department of the Archaeology at Punjab University, warned that such activity was banned under the Antiquity Act, saying you cannot even hammer a nail at the archaeological site. On, on 31st January 2014, a case was filed in the Sindh High Court.
to bar the Sindh government from continuing with this event. The festival was held by Pakistan People's Party at the historical site, despite all the protests by the both national and international historians and educators. From a colonnaded courtyard, steps led down to the brick built pool, which was waterproof by a lining of bitumen. This is a pool. The pool is about 12 meters long, 7 meters wide, and 2.4 meters deep. This swimming pool is also called the Great Bath. The location of Monjo Dodo was built in a relatively short period of time. With the water supply system and wells being some of the first planned constructions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment down below Have you ever visited Mohonjo Dodo? Now we're walking inside the museum. This is a picture of what Mohanjo Doro used to look like. Numerous objects found in the evacuation include seated and standing figures, copper and stone tools, carved seats, belts, scales and baits, gold and jasper jewelry, and children's toy. Many bronze and copper pieces such as figures and bulbs have been recovered from the site. Showing that the inhabitants of Mohonjo Doro understood to how to utilize the metals and opposite to smelting. There even seems to be an entire section of the city dedicated to self work located in the north east part of the site. Some of the most prominent copper works recovered from the site are the copper tablets, which have examples of untranslated in the script. Poetry and Chakuta sets have been recovered from the site, with many pots and deposits of ash in them, leading archaeologists to believe that they were entire used to hold the ashes of a poet or as a way to warm up a home. These heaters or blazers were ways to heat the house while also being able to utilize in a manner of cooking or, or straining, while others believed that they were only used for heating. The finds from Monjo Doro were intentionally deposited in the Lahore Museum, but later moved to the ASI headquarters at New Delhi. Where a new Central Imperial Museum was being planned for the new capital of the British Raj. In case of wondering what happened to the two most celebrated sculptures, well, Pakistan had received the priest king while India stayed with the dancing girl, also the Pusapit seal. Her Mortimer Wheeler was especially fascinated with the artifacts, which he believed to be at least 4,500 years old. The necklace has a S-shaped clamp with several stands, each over 4 feet long, of bronze metal based beard like nuggets, which each connected in the arm of the S. Each hand has around 220 and 230 of many fixated nuggets, and there are about 1,600 nuggets in total. The necklace weighs around 250 grams in total. All the artifacts you saw were recovered from a Honcho Doro. Now we're heading back home. Please make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.